Hello and welcome back to Channel Mum. Now today we're going to show you three dead simple recipes to cook fabulous fish thanks to Iceland. So I've come to my local Iceland in Maidstone. Now it's time to go and pick up some fabulous fishy ingredients. So I'll take you shopping with me, we'll look for all the ingredients together and then we'll come home and I'll show you exactly what I got. Now Mark actually has the car today, so I'm gonna do our shop online because it's much easier for me. Extra large scallop, it is amazing. Look at how much choice there is. I mean, there's red snapper for four fillets and that's only eight pounds, which is really good for fish. So I've just got home and I've unloaded all my shopping. Wanna come and see what I got? Let's go. I must say I'm really, really impressed with their range of fish. If you're a fan of seafood, I'd recommend checking it out. So, the star of the show are these sea bass fillets, and they are skin on and boneless, and they look absolutely brilliant, they're huge. It's frozen within hours of catch of being caught, so it's actually even fresher than the fresh fish you buy at the very expensive fish counters. The next thing I got was the Iceland casserole with squid, hake, mussels, clams and shrimp. Grilled broccoli and it comes with red pepper drops, yummy. And best of all, you can cook it in the oven or the microwave, woohoo. And also from the same Italian seafood range, made in Tuscany with no artificial flavors or colors. Only takes nine minutes to cook. You can't really go wrong. I have some sweet potato wedges because I know that both of my boys, Mark and Bill, absolutely love them. I'm gonna be cooking everything in the oven from frozen. I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees because I have a fan assisted oven. If you don't have a fan assisted oven, preheat it to 200 degrees. A bottle of wine. Right, let's get cooking. my sea bass fillets in the microwave. I've just covered them in a little bit of butter with some herbs and salt and pepper. So I'll just pop it in now. Even if I do say so myself, this looks really, really yummy. I have just splashed these with a little bit of soy sauce and some crushed garlic, and I'm just gonna leave them to sort of marinate for a little bit. I know they're frozen, but they will still pick up the flavor. I absolutely love the look of this because it only takes nine minutes and look at it. I'm not being funny, but am I a chef? Because that looks like a chef made it in my opinion. We've got the sea bass there and it's all of this lovely seafood. Cheers. Okay, tuck in. Is it good? Yeah? No. Oh. Fish. Just a little bit. So try it. This is really, really nice. Promise you. Mm, it's tasty. <laughs> mm. Well, that was delicious. Everybody loved their dinner and I scored major mum points today, which is great. It was all so quick and easy to cook and I'm definitely gonna try the sea bass again. <sighs> Gosh, I'm stuffed, but that was so tasty. Now, we would love to know what you think, and if you've got any tips for cooking fish or anything like that, then leave us a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Channel Mum, and we'll see you next week. 